simply vital. And there's two changes. Yuitsa Pavlic can only imagine that he's injured and hasn't recovered from the tumble that he took in the last time out. And Klaus Jakobsen has come in for him, the rider that's uh, usually with Stoke. And it's Stuart Robson in for Phil Morris. Paul Hoey in yellow for the Swindon Robins. But really, all eyes as far as the Lakeside Hammers concerned on Eunice Davidson. He's on the outside gate. I haven't seen too many race wins from that position tonight. Can Davison change that situation? In this, the penultimate heat. And it's a good start from Eunice Davison. He needs to get across the pack. He's got on the outside. And Eunice Davison has taken the lead. Great speedway from Eunice Davison, the Swedish international. And in second place is Stuart Robson. Born in Sunderland, he had a serious injury in Mildenhall. He's under pressure now from Paul Hoey. And Hoey goes on the outside. He's almost lost control of his bike. He did ever so well after the bike locked up. But has just enabled Davison to extend the lead as he looks over his left-hand shoulder. And he knows the real battle is for second place. Hoey right on the back now of Stuart Robson as we move into the final lap. Hoey goes wide, Robson goes tight. Hoey with a last chance as Eunice Davison way out in front. Hoey's tried too hard, he falls into the safety fence. Robson goes across, there was no doubt that there was no interference. Hoey just tried too hard on the final turn. Full credit to the veteran and the former Hammer. He gave his all, so too did Eunice Davison and Stuart Robson. A timely 5-1 as we move into Heat 15 because we know in recent weeks, particularly here at the Raceway, that John Cook's men have struggled in the final heat. But it's a significant advantage now. And a really from Eunice Davison, a great reception, a great ride and a great result from Heat 14. Well, it most certainly was, Dave, as the Hammers, of course, where they cannot now be beaten. They've got a six-point lead overall as Stuart Robson, one of the heroes in heat number 14. He gets the bumps. Great, great tactical move there by John Cook in your picture to replace uh, Phil Morris with Robbo as uh, Eunice Davidson. Well, he receives the bumps as well after his first win of the night. Tremendous stuff in heat number 14 as uh, the Hammers congratulate each other. So uh, they uh, have got a cup final to look forward to this year. It's going to be a while before we know who it will be against. Of course, uh, Paul have got to face Bellevue and then the uh, winners of that quarter final will face Coventry in the semi as the uh, heroes.